chat and chow, Stanton Joe here. Welcome back to another episode of the Pokemon Gold 97 Let's Play. In the last episode, we arrived here at the ne uh, Nyon Forest after going uh, through South, after beating the Rocket Team Rocket Captain on South Point City. Uh, today, we are going to go through the Nyon Forest. And um, I'm going to need to talk to you guys about a few things, because I, um, well, a couple years back, I made a second channel, Lancer, uh, I made a second channel, it, back in the days of Joe's PH Games. It was called Joe's PH Games 2. And the thing is about Joe's PH Games 2, I've been umming and ahhing about keeping, uh, you know, bringing it back. It's gone through. Uh, it went through many name changes. It's done all the things that I've ummed and are about with this, the main channel here. But the fact is, with that channel, I've like have always been just like skeptical about it and wanted it to work as as much. It's been harder to get it to work as well as this channel. Yes, I've never been as committed as I am with this channel. Uh, with it, but the fact is I really want to start being committed with it. I have got new games coming up to it and everything and I'm very excited about this new channel, but I don't know what to do with it And I don't have a bet. I don't really have a name for it. That's the problem with Lantern and Joe uh, uh, Joe's PH Games 2. It never had a good name. The whole Joe's PH Games thing was awful I know it now, but like I can't call the channel Lantern and Joe Games, can I? That doesn't really work, it doesn't roll off the tongue, it's also kind of long, but also it still sort of genericifies it to Pokemon. And this channel is, uh, the channel which I'm speaking of is anything but. Anyway, what am I doing? I'm uh, shaking trees using headbutt. It's fun. Here, you could try too. Wait, you gave me headbutt this late in the game? Dude, I have headbutt. Jess learned headbutt by level up. I'm getting headbutt this late in the game. And Jess learned headbutt by level up. You know, it's weird. Well, okay, I got TMO2 for headbutt. Skip loon! Okay. Wasn't expecting you to see you here, but like I wasn't expecting to see you like that. You know, your beta, your beta has really changed over the years. So yeah, I don't know what to do with the channel. I mean, I got like I know what I'm doing, let's play wise. I got my uh, Command and Conquer LP. That's where Command and Conquer is going to be going. That's uh, you know the LPs I was talking to you guys about a few days ago. That's where they are going. Those, uh, that's where those um, LPs are going. They are going to go to Lantern Joe, uh, to Lantern Joe Games, my gaming channel, which is anything but Pokemon, and, and it's going to have diff. It's not just PC games. It's going to start. It's going to have some PC games for the moment in time, but there might be some Xbox One things. There might be like Zelda. There might be Mario. There might be anything on that channel. I don't. This is the channel I typecast to Pokemon, okay? Lantern Joe is the channel I typecast to Pokemon. Lantern Joe Games is anything but Pokemon. It's basically what I really want to do on you. It's not what I really want to do on YouTube, but I think like, it's... I want to have a network of channels. I want to have... I want to be able to just not just say that I am Joe, I am a Poketuber. But I am Lantern Joe, and Lantern Joe is a network of channels which does everything. That's what I'd love to be able to say, but it's uh, anything to do with gaming, you know that Lantern Joe's got your back. That's what I'd love to be able to say, but I'm not sure. I'm just not sure. I really don't know what to do with... I don't know, and um, I'd like to ask you guys in the comments section, but the fact is I don't really... My channel doesn't get enough feedback to actually even warrant me to even talk about these things. But I do talk about these things. So, I don't know what to say, really. I just, I don't know. This is actually deep. 
she's like first attempt at, at a match really nice good work daisy you know since evolving this is daisy's like the first pokemon i knew daisy could beat was a super effective i hope i get fly soon because then i can fly back to that person who uh, wanted to see madamine and then we can give them we can let them see my madamine I also don't know where I'm going. Like, literally, I have no idea where I'm going. This... Okay, this route to led to berry trees. Oh, apricorn trees, actually. It led to apricorn trees. Okay, I'm okay with that. Uh, over on the... Uh, over on Lantern Show Games, I have... Uh, I've played... Uh, I've done things like The Sims before, and I've... And it's done rather well. I've really enjoyed playing the Sims. I've really enjoyed playing the Sims. I am a Sim. Like, if there's any other game that I have put as much time as I have into games, if there is any other game in the world that I have put as much time into as I have put into Pokemon, it is the Sims. As a kid, uh, I played a lot of the Sims too. I loved the Sims too. I. I grew up with it. I literally became uh, the gamer I am because of The Sims t uh, 2 when it came to other games. But then I get, uh, but then I got The Sims. Uh, then we went up The Sims 3, and now we're on The Sims 4. And again, I still love this game, and I still uh, want to uh, continue doing gameplay videos of it, and also playing the game. So I hope. You I hope you'll join me over on the second uh, second channel when it starts because it's going to be it's an interesting experience. It's going to be an interesting experience. I don't know where it's going to lead me. This guy, this girl, has six Pokemon. I'm a little scared. Yeah, uh, I don't know where it's going to lead me. Uh, is she in Evolutions team? But I'm excited to see where it's going to go. That's a Flareon. Oh, I'm only one level away from having a bell ring. I'm only one. She is an Evolutions team. Okay. This is an Evolutions team. I am. I am in. She's doing the Eevee run. She is doing an Eevee run. Yeah. Well. I mean, I say Eevee run, Eevee Lucian's run, which I like. I mean, I've done, I've done series where you've like just like stop, like when I mean, you haven't been able to catch any of a Pokemon bar like the team you start with. I've done those series on the channel, like the Rotom Run, for example. I stop, I did an entire series of Pokemon Black Two back in the day, which had Rotom and just Rotom and the forms of Rotom, Rotom Grass, Rotom Heat, Rotom Mo. No, Red and Mo, Red and Wash, you know, all those Rotoms. I I did that. It was an awesome LP. I really loved the idea of just of just Rotom. And I, I'm a huge fan of Rotom and I've done series like that, just saying, but like I'd love to do that again. The Rotom run is an interesting idea. I've always wanted to do a Rotom run of platinum. Because I feel like it'd be harder to do it of platinum because the difference between hot gold soul silver, uh, you know, a hot gold soul silver, and uh, uh, the and the Rotoms is the fact that basically the Rotoms got their typings in hot gold soul silver. Rotom Mo wasn't electric grass type until hot gold soul silver. He was still electric ghost when he was introduced in platinum. Rotom, uh, Rotom Oven, Electric Ghost in Platinum. Yeah, Rotom Wash, Electric Water now, but in Platinum, Electric Ghost. That is what I'm trying... Uh, that is... That is the very interesting thing. They were all Electric Ghost. Oh, this is my first time seeing Umbria. I'm not sure I like it. Which is weird, because I actually do rather like uh, Umbreon's actual Gen 2 sprite. I don't like this. He looks a bit scary. 
a bit more scary than he uh, is. I like Umbreon Sprite in Gen 2, man. I mean, if you want, I can show you Umbreon Sprite for Gen 2, because I have the Gen 2 Sprites. I've been used, well, I say, for the ones that actually, uh, for this series, I have been actually using the sprites, but like, uh, well, I've been using the sprites in game, but for the actual LP I did of this game, the Ash of oh, Pokemon Gold, because I did a 3DS version, I did a version of Pokemon Gold. Oh, Jess is, up. Jess is finally leveled up. I did a free. I, I played the 3DS uh, Virtual Console games. That's Leafeon? Okay. Now, the Leafeon is not normally in this game, okay? Leafeon was not part of the. Uh, was not part of the Space World demo. But. Uh, the ROM hat creator actually added Leafeon in and gave Leafeon a sprite which would resemble the Space World demo. So that is a custom-made sprite that would, uh, which uh, he has put in the game. There are some of those in this game, but it's cool that he's done that. This is Bell Ring. Okay, so that's Bell Ring. Okay, interesting. I like it. It's like a cat with a bell. But like it's a bit more darker. I, I, I like it. I really do. You know, it's sort of reminds me of like my my brother's cat in a way. In a way, uh, maybe. I don't know. I mean. I have my brother has a black cat, and I... She's very shy. She's tiny. She's very little as well. Like, for example... Uh, I was staying with my brother once, and I was... Uh, it was round about the time where there was going to be a dinosaur exhibit at Chester Zoo. And I was living with my brother during this time. And I was going to go and see this dinosaur exhibit at the, um, at Chester Zoo. Now, uh, I was getting ready to go out. I was all set up, ready to go out. I have a coat on and everything. And some, uh, I was just about to go out and uh, some kind of commotion happened as just as about as I was about to open the door. And, well, Monty, the little cat uh, that I was talking, telling you about, well, we all thought that uh, Monty had got out and actually had got out into the world, but she, and she's a very indoor cat, she doesn't leave, she's never gone outside, in her entire years as a cat, uh, uh, since she was, she's never gone out, she's not that kind of cat, she's an indoor cat, she plays indoors, she is that kind of cat, she never leaves the house. We, f uh, well, during that time, uh, my brothers and uh, my sister-in-law thought, what, that's Ladian? Oh, okay. Well, they thought that she had got out when I was opening the door uh, to go out myself to go and see that zoo exhibit. So much so, they stopped me from going to that zoo exhibit. I never got chat. I never got to go to that zoo exhibit. A few hours later, uh, we searched the entire house. We searched everywhere. We put up. Uh, we put up wanted ads. We called uh, the rescue where we got uh, her mum. Uh, from an effort, uh, f and we did eventually find uh, Monty. Monty had actually never left the house. Do you want to know where she was, uh, guys? Monty and Apom. Oh, cool. Oh, I'm out of PP on. I'm out of PP on headbutt. Anyway, so Monty had actually got underneath the bath. Somehow, uh, from what I, uh, somehow, the night before, 
uh, all this had happened, the side panel of the bath in the bathroom had gone, uh, had uh, fallen off. Now, my, uh, they did, uh, my, uh, t um, my brothers didn't know until the morning, uh, the morning of the event, that um, they, uh, that the side panel of the bath had fallen off in the middle of the night. And they were and they were trying to put it back on and stuff like that. But whilst it was off, unbeknown to all of us, Monty, tiny little Monty, crawled under uh, cr uh, crawled underneath the bath and asked where she, uh, and that's where she was. We didn't know she was there until much uh, later on when they were putting the side pack. Uh, uh, and they put the side panel back on the bath already, not knowing that she was there. But she, she's so quiet. And then uh, she's so quiet when she's adventuring. And you just don't know she's actually adventuring. But she's a very adventurous little cat. So it's really cool. Uh, for uh, She goes on adventures like this all the time. Um, and she can get... Uh, because she is so small, she can get behind the, like little gaps in counter spaces and stuff like that. Like, she, uh, like for example, she lives in like her cat tree where she sleeps at night and stuff like that is in the kitchen. But we can often f uh, and she crawls along like the top of the uh, uh, the can uh, the cabinets on top of the uh, the kitchen at my brother's, uh, and that's where she sleeps at night. But, in times, she has actually gone behind the counters. We've had to put, we've had to put locks on the cabinets uh, in my brother's kitchen. Because she can get in. She can get her paw, open the, ca open the cabinet doors, and get, uh, get into the cabinets. And then get behind the cabinets, and go behind the, uh, go behind the bits of the cabinet, uh, go behind the cabinets. You know, the bit between the cabinet and the wall. She can do that. Because she's that goddamn small. And nobody knows that she's adventuring like that. And eventually, and, and sometimes... Ames. Sometimes she, you know... Hours later she... Like, we don't know she's... Oh, like... We don't know she's there. And she's got, like, stuck behind them. And we've closed the doors thinking, like... Where it, uh, we don't know where Monty must be somewhere in the house and stuff like that. So we we just never know. And then a few, so we close the door and we lock and we lock the cupboard doors like we do normally because Monty's not supposed to go behind there because it's dangerous. But every now and then we'll hear a little meow, uh, and that's where she, and that's where she is. She's behind the cupboards. She's behind the cabinets, but, and she's got somehow got behind there left the door open we've not known that she's got behind there but she's very quiet and we closed the door and we unbeknown to us she's behind there so that's happened before and well it happened it happened with the bathtub that time i'm the Duker man do you know about eggs i was raising a pokemon with my wife, you see? And we were shocked to find an egg. How incredible is that? Well, wouldn't you uh, li like to see this egg? That's fine. It's yours to keep. You have no room for this. Really, youngster Joey? Yeah, you keep your Radata. You keep your Radata. Don't catch any other Pokemon. Just keep the Radata. I know you saw Rinder Rings, but leave them alone. Leave little Monty to a... I really should call this cat Monty now. I guess I'll pick up this egg. What do you have to say to me? I'm the daycare lady. Do you know about eggs? My husband and I were raising... Some Pokemon, you see, and we were shocked to find an egg. How incredible is that? Should I raise a Pokemon for you? Okay, so you give me the egg. 
Give me the egg. I got the odd egg. Okay, so now I have the odd egg. Which is weird. Because I... We already got an egg. And it didn't hatch into the Togepi. I can't actually remember what it hatched into off the top of my head. You know what? I'm going to have to go back and uh, see. Uh, what did it hatch into? Oh, right! It hatched into Actor on Mine Junior! Oh, that's right! Okay. And then this is the play area. Yeah, you could get in here. Can I get an encounter in here? Yeah, I don't think so. I really don't think so. Okay. So this is the daycare. I've got my I got my odd egg. I'll hatch I think we'll hatch that in between episodes. Uh so that should be a rather fun adventure because, I, uh, because uh, in between episodes I can go onto my emulator which I use, uh, which has a speed up button, which I can't do here because BGB does not have a speed up button. I should have he I should have switched out. I really should have switched out. Titan would have been the better play here. Yeah. So I can go onto my emulator that has the speed up button, which is uh, v Visual Boy Advanced. Uh, VGB does not have a speed up button because it's more, you know, you it's more like the actual Game Boy itself, which is why I play on. Which is why I play on this. It looks better. It looks like the Game Boy. It looks like the original Game Boy. It it plays like the original Game Boy. It just just it is sort of what an emulated version of the original Game Boy would look like. Visual Boy Advance is sort of an emulated version of the Game Boy Advance. And... Except for it has a speed-up button, which, you know, the Game Boy Advance would not have. But on the, you know, on these games, on Gen 1 and 2 games, it has two speeds. There is no speed, which is what I'm playing under now, and then there is and then there is Pokemon on speed because it goes super goddamn fast and you can't keep up which is why I don't usually do it so I'm not a big fan of using it outside of like needing the speed up button to do like hatch X. Have you ever used a Pokemon daycare? They're ver uh, the very friendly old uh, couple that uh, in the house uh, raise uh, your Pokemon. Cool. Thank you. For telling me this knowledge that I already know. I also probably am going to like vet, uh, go through the forest again and uh, look to see if I can find like any items. Um, I'll do that off screen as well. This is a horrible fight for you. I need Daisy. I really need Daisy out there. Daisy, come on out here, please. You can deal with this, Daisy. So off screen, whoa! Seismic Toss looks completely different in the game. It actually, it's actually like he's throwing the world at me. It actually looks like he's throwing the world at me, which is it didn't look like in Gen 2 and hasn't looked like every time that you, you know, someone's used Seismic Toss, it's never looked like that. But that's really cool. Oh, it's Fanfy! Oh, he even looks even more cuter in this game. I don't even know that's how. I don't even know that's possible. I love Fanfy. Says as he uh, throws water at it, and Fanfy doesn't like that. Level 27 for Titan. And we beat Hiker Anthony. Nice. I'm gonna put. I'm gonna put Tricky back in the front of the party. Tricky's my lowest level at this moment in time. I actually haven't picked. I need to pick this back up. 
Hey, it's Hugo! Joe! It's been a while. Yeah, you're not- you're telling me. You just got through Nyon Forest, right? It's a tough place. But it fill- uh, but it's filled with Pokemon. I'm actually not in the mood to, uh, battle right now. I'm heading back to, out to the forest to look for more Pokemon. Can't miss the opportunity to look for the strongest Pokemon uh, to add to my team. This city's pretty cool, right, Evo? Uh, the gym leader that uses Steel-type Pokemon. I've never heard of that type before. Anyways, I'm off. See you around. Okay. I mean, I'm glad you didn't want to fight me because I actually kind of need to heal and I'm actually not got my all six Pokemon because I never actually picked up Wisp again. I need to go and pick... I need to go and pick Wisp up back from the PC. So, yeah, I'd be very... I am very glad you didn't try to fight me. The sailor in New Type Cafe south of here is really generous. He get, he taught my Pokemon fly. Now I can take uh, me. Now it can take me anywhere that I've already been. Cool. Yo, you and your Pokemon are really close. Thank you. There's uh, a person in Sugar Town. Across the sea, I hear she's a master of dragon type, uh, dragon Pokemon. Okay, so that must be Claire. Well, I don't know if she's actually called Claire, but like, that must be Claire. Okay, so... Hey, mate. I've always been... It's always been a... I've always had a dream to move further north where it snows. Okay. I love... Sugar Town is such a quaint uh, I little island, but reaching it is difficult. There are waters filled with whirlpools. It's impossible to pass without help of a Pokemon. No, I don't want to teach one of my Pokemon Whirlpool. I'm gonna to have to teach us. If I'm, I'm gonna to have to catch another Water Pokemon for that and teach, you know, teach it to them, like like a like like a King Gold or a, something like uh, or a Tentacruel or something like. That. I don't want to teach that to any of my main team. Whenever I roll into this town, I always visit New Type Cafe. Everything here is delicious. New Type Cafe's menu is chucked full of uh, healthy fare for hungry people. Welcome to New Type Cafe. We have food to satisfy every appetite. Yeah, sailing is such an outdated. Ah, your sailing is such an outdated way to travel. Walking is too. Why not you get your Pokemon to use fly? Uh, and fly you everywhere. I got HRO2 for fly. Ships sail. Uh, ships still have to set sail since flying type Pokemon can't carry cargo. No, they can't carry cargo, sadly. Clearly, Pelipper hadn't been invented yet. <laughs> See, Pelipper is basically the delivery Pokemon. Okay, so there's a bridge over here. Yeah. Which the canal runs through this village, uh, this city, is a sight to behold. Not sunset. Okay. The canal that runs through uh, the city is popul a popular fishing spot. Would you like a rod to fish in it? Yes, I would. Haha! <laughs> we seem to have a new angler. The good rod! Thank you! Fish aren't found in the sea alone. They are found wherever water is. Cool. Can I surf? I can surf on the canal! 
I can surf on the canal. And I can find encounters. I can find Tentacruel in the canal. Uh, you should do something about that. You really should do something about that. I can find Tentacruel in your canal. That mean, does that mean your water's poisoned? And then this is the gym. Wow, you have a Pokedex? That's so, just so awesome. So here's the gym. New Type City Gym. Leader, Jasmine. The Steel Clad Defense Girl. Cool. Hello, old sea captain. One day, I hope I can experience the cons uh, collision of legend. I sense an evil presence looming over Nyon. Surely, the bird shall not return until it is gone. Okay. Interesting. I'm not sure what you're talking about, but interesting nonetheless. And that's where the fisherman's house is. And then over here... Hello, mate. I'm looking for this Pokemon. Uh, if you have a Krabby, would you trade it to me for a Voltorb? Hmm. Not really the best trade, but I mean, I can look into it. But like, Voltorb is basically kind of generic too. You seem to be good at Pokemon. Would you mind giving me some advice? I will give you plenty of advice. Stop training. There you go. I gave you advice. Because I'm about to kick your ass. Although you do have a Flaffy. And I'm a little scared of Flaffy with Tricky here. Unless Tricky could learn like Flamethrower, then I might not be scared anymore. I got the burn! Nice! You missed your uh, Thunder Wave, which I'm very glad for. I'm very glad that you missed your Thunder Wave. I need Flamethrower in this set, really. Flame Wheel's cool, but like it's not it's not as powerful these days. I I think Flamethrower would be the better move. But if I keep on getting boosted experience like that, I'll get it in no time. Psyduck. Vaulty! I still haven't I still haven't put Wisp back on the team yet. I need to do that. I keep on I keep on putting Wisp away. I keep on not showing Wisp love. Wisp gets uh, Wisp gets the least amount of love from me. I don't know why. I just I just don't like. I just don't pay as much attention to it. Like I put all the time and attention into all the other Gen uh, these Gen two beta mons that I've been collecting. I put barely any time into Wisp. Why don't I get out here? Paris. I'm not interested in a Paris. I could find a Paris in the forest. I found several Parises in the forest. I don't want one. I didn't mean to run into you. Fine, I will battle you. Beauty Olivia. With a Growlet! Do you have the entire evolution line? Because that'd be cool if you have the entire evolution line. If you have a Growlet, a Growlithe, and an Arcanine. Because I want to see Arcanine in this game now. Level 26 for Tricky! Here it is! Okay, that's Arcanine! It's pretty cool! I like it! This is my first time seeing Arcanine in this game. Even with even with the Gen 1 Pokemon, they still have new sprites and they're pretty cool too. And I just got a full level from that. Yeah, you have the entire evolution line. Here's Growlithe. Uh, here's Growlithe. Of course, I'm going to surf it too and uh, destroy it. Because, you know, Tricky is just awesome.
I got a lot of experience from that too, because, you know, boosted EXP because Tricky was not originally mine. Oh, I was kind of hoping I could avoid you, but... I'm guessing this is the way to, uh, Claire... I'm guessing this is the way to Sugar Town. And then, up top is the way to the Ice-type, uh, the Ice-type area. I don't actually know the name of this guy, uh, because they, uh, they haven't told us it yet. I'll look at my map in a minute after this battle. Dude, you're not, you're, you're meditating ain't gonna help you. I'm going to destroy you. I could have destroyed you before, but, you know, I used Surf, I, I used Flame Wheel instead of Surf. Dead. See, I destroyed you. Your meditating did not help. You have a Mr. Mime. Cool. I actually really want to see Mr. Mime. Faulty. You are the, the next Pokemon with the lowest experience. Okay, Mr. Mime doesn't look too much different from its Gen 1 sprite. I, mean, I wasn't expecting a dramatic change, but, you know, I, was, I might have been expecting something. Hey, got the paralysis. Nice. Faulty, can you deal with this, Mr. Mime? I mean, I'm going to have to rely on Spark, which is not... Which is not really the best move, but... I mean, I, I guess you probably need Thunderbolt now, Faulty. Which, I mean, I know you probably don't get that uh, until much more later on, but... I guess Thunderbolt would be the best move for you now. But we can see. Thundershock. Dead. Nice. Okay. I will battle you. You're a sailor. You're a sailor, Harry. And you have an odd fish. Uh, no, a sooner fish. It's a sooner fish. The Pokemon I found uh, uh, like a couple episodes back, and I didn't, I found it uh, like a couple episodes back while searching through the uh, the ruins. Uh, sadly, I couldn't. I tried to catch one, and I ran out of balls. I didn't have that many balls on me at the time, and uh, sadly, I did not get the. I uh, did not get a sooner fish, and I did not go back to go and find it when I had more balls. So I probably should do that. Because I don't know what you I don't know what you evolve into. I mean, do you evolve? Could you evolve into that? You know the the shark arc with the uh, the shark with the anchor uh, the anchor on its tail, the really cool Pokemon that that I really would love to see. Ank Wait, yeah, that's it. That's Anchorage. That's the shark with the rear, with the anchor attached to its back. Well, its tail, sorry. It's the shark. It's the shark with the anchor attached to its tail. And that's Anchorage. That's what you evolve into. That's cool. I wonder if Faulty evolves soon. See, these are all questions. Hi, Fisherman Ralph. Hey, it's Uncle Ralph. Are you taking care of your Pokemon? You have to be good to your partners. I'd just be a sand slash. I told my kid, but he scoffed that he could do the same thing easily. Boy, he's forgot. He's gotten cocky. You could call hit your mums sometimes, Tim. Stop telling me to call my mum. I got a berry. Nice. Seems a bit late in the game to be getting berries, but... Okay. And over here, we have another area for Pokemon. And there's loads of ledges all about the place. I actually don't know where I'm going. Oh, that's Proita! Cool! 
I will leave you be. And then up here. Okay, I can straight up avoid you by just going further along the map, which I like. And there's Milk Tank! There's wild milk tanks too, cool. Milk tank is the exact same in this uh, generation as it's always been. Doesn't evolve. I have to face one of you. I was either gonna have to go up and face both of you, or face one of go across and face one of you. You have a Pikachu. Nice. Can you handle this? I know that water's not very effective, which is weird because that's not usually the case. You know, that's not actually the case in Pokemon. It's just that this game considers that to be the case. I mean... It may have been that way in the original Space World demo. We'll never know because we never got that original Space World demo. You know, we got the Space World demo, but we didn't. We never got an actual full version of the Space World demo. What we have of that Space World demo is all we have of that Space Use World demo. This person has adapted it. Uh, the person who made this ROM hack adapted it into something that could be considered what the full version of the Space World demo could have been. But to tell you the truth, we will probably never know. Okay, this route seems to be uh, going endless. You know what? I'm going to end this episode after this battle. Okay? And then off screen, I'm going to try and make it back to the... Uh, uh, I'm going to try and make it back to the city. Or see how far further on this route goes. I'll do that off screen because, you know, this route is proving to be a bit endless right now. And uh, we've gone about 40 minutes, so I need to stop. And if she's got the entire Clefairy evolution line, which she looks like she has, I very much need to stop. So, I will do that in a minute. Wow, you lived that? Don't you minimize? No, I mean... And you have a berry! That's okay, I hit. I hit, I'm okay. I was a bit worried I wasn't gonna hit. I got a crit! I will take it! I was a little worried I wasn't gonna hit. I. But I got a crit and everything. Yeah, I want to switch. Titan, get on out of here, please. Clefairy Ball. Okay. Right, I'm gonna get. Uh, I'm gonna end this episode as soon as we are done here, and then we'll, uh, off screen I'll sort out the rest of this route. I'll uh, meet you back in New Type City where we'll take on the gym. We might even adventure up towards Price in, into, uh, in the next episode. And I'll also hatch the egg. So that's... Uh, so, I've got some work to do. I'm glad I got a quit surfer, because he was beefing those. Anyway, I will end this episode here. So until next time, I am Lancer and Joe. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe. I talked about practically everything. My brother's cat, the second channel. I talked about everything today. It's been rather fun. I've really enjoyed it. But until next time, I'm Lancer and Joe. Mean to love Pokemon get to Laza. Everybody at Pokemon. Good night! Thank you so much for watching. If you did enjoy this video, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe for more videos. And of course, you can ring the bell and you'll be notified first 
when those videos come out. You can follow me on Twitter at Lantern Joe, where you'll get news, thoughts, and opinions from me, Joe, and the rest of the Lantern Nation. And of course, if you're a fan of this sort of thing, then you might like Power Zone Metal, a radio show presented by me and my brother Dan, aka the Gentleman of Metal. You can find out more information about that on powerzonemetal.uk. And of course, if you want to watch more videos, you can watch them by clicking in the top right and top left hand corner of this here end card. And of course, until next time, from me, Joe, and from the rest of the Lantern Nation, we'll see you again.